So, for in 2000, we are told uh, paper 2, question 12, find the value of x which satisfies the equation 5 to power 2x minus 6 times 5 to power x. Uh, then we have uh, plus 5 is equals to 0. So, let us organize this equation and write it like this 5 to power x into bracket squared minus 6 times 5 to power x plus 5 is equals to 0. So we have not changed the equation because when you open the bracket you still end up with uh, 5 to power 2x. From there uh, it's read y is equals to 5 to power x. So we can replace our 5x with y so we end up with y squared uh, minus 6y plus 5 is equals to 0. This is a quadratic equation. So we can factorize it. We get two numbers, m plus n should give you minus 6 and m multiplied by n should give you 5. So let's use minus 5 and uh, minus 1. When you add, you get minus 6. When you multiply, you get uh, 5. So we rewrite our, expression, our equation y squared minus 5y minus y which is the same as minus 6 plus 5 is equals to 0 we factor out what is common uh, when you factor out what is common you get uh, this is y into bracket uh, y minus 5 and you get to factor out minus 1 you get y minus 5 is equals to 0 so this means that uh, we have y factor out y uh, or we get y minus 1 is equals to 0 implying y is equals to 5 or 1 and since we had defined our our y to be equals to 5x it means 5x is equals to 5 implying that uh, uh, 5x is equals to 1 and when we take uh, five, uh, f 1, y is equals to 1, it means 5x is equals to 1, implying that 5x is equals to 5 to power 0, because when you write that f uh, 5 to power 0 is the same as 1, implying x is equals to 0. So our answer is x is equals to 0 or, uh, or 1. And that's how you work out that question. You get yourself four marks.